represent individuals for justice. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you saw the movie and Justice for All. It was an Al Pacino movie, and it was in 1979. That's what the 1979 on my shirt says. I wear the shirt because in the movie, Al Pacino has a nervous breakdown. He's a lawyer, and he has a total breakdown. And he points to the judge, and he says, no, I'm not in contempt. You are. This whole system is in contempt. You're out of order. I was on my feet when he said that, and only the way Al Pacino could say it. And what he was saying was the whole system was broken. That's 37 years ago, folks. It's worse today than it was then. So I got up this morning and I thought about it and I said, all the work that you've done, Joe, and all the hours that you put in, on a volunteer basis, by the way, we don't get paid for what we do here. Nobody's paying us. We do it because we believe in justice for all. We really believe that. Somebody somewhere along the line convinced us that we should have justice for all. We have 2,000 plus on our streets. We have women, I just read an email the other day and somebody was pleading for help because there was a woman with children and now she was evicted and now she's on the street with her kids. And I just went, God! All this work that you've done, and this is what happens. Why? I can't blame you. So who do I blame? Do I blame the system? I do not fight for me. I'm on my last few years. I do not fight for me. I fight for my granddaughters. I fight for my grandson. That's what I fight for. It scares the hell out of me what's going on in this country. Please do something about the homeless question. And right now, we're housing them in Terminal 1 is a no. It should be a no. You cannot warehouse human beings. I don't care what you call it. A campus? What are they going to have? Classes? <laughs> That's not a campus. It's a warehouse. That's what's going to happen. And when you get people, think about this. When you get people in, in a large room, 50 or 60 of them, they have no privacy. They want privacy. Get them in apartments, like other cities have done. And you guys have said nothing about Terminal 1, nothing. Where are you? And I told you that we would fight you on this, Deborah. If you screwed up, and this is a screw up, a major screw up, they want to spend $100 million on Terminal 1 area. They're already spending money. You're supposed to be the lead agency in this. And having Salzman in charge of housing is like having Emperor Nero in charge of music. That's how bad it is. I know I'm on the time. Notice the bruises on Joe Walsh's uh, arms from his 627 assault, for which I came down to be assaulted myself. I was not expecting that. I just wanted to protect him. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Commissioners. Uh,